Hello there and welcome to Linux S2 and in this video we will talk about what is a snap packaging system and uh, how we can use snap in a Linux distribution. So this video is divided into two parts in the first one we will talk about the different kind of packaging system that are available and why Ubuntu created snap to streamline the packaging system in Linux cloud and IoT devices. And in the second half we will talk about how we can use the snap utility and snap store to manage the application like how to install remove update and list all the snap applications so if you are someone who already know about what is a snap then you can skip to the second part where you will learn how to manage the applications and if you want to know about a snap then you can watch the complete video and learn about it so let's get started with the first part So before going to the snap, let's first understand what a packaging system is. So earlier when the Linux was new and uh, there were not that much momentum in the computer industry as well. So people used to install applications from sources file. So developer used to develop the application and they would provide you the sources file and the user has to compile all the files by themselves and uh, manage all the dependencies that it may require. And that was very tedious kind of work and uh, people used to run into problems and it was very hectic basically. So there was something that needed to be introduced in the Linux community that can streamline the installation process so people created packaging system so we have some packaging system in linux you may heard of like dot dev files and dot rpm files so basically i'm going to show you what is a packaging system so let me show you what are these files for example you want to install an application here is an application called assembler and you want to install it in a debian based system that uses dot dev file so you can download the dot dev files from available sources so for example i want to install this application on ubuntu so i can go to ubuntu and download the dot dev file here and install it in the system and if i use something known as like fedora or red hat or open source then i can go with the dot rpm file because these are the files and if i want to install it solus then i have to download this eo package file and uh, the list goes similarly with the different distributions so the packaging system basically streamline the installation process and the users can download these packages file and they can simply double click on the package file and install it in the system for example this is a dot dev file and this is a plc application so if i want to install it i can simply run this file and this will open in a software center so this is the software center i can hit the install button and the application will start to install i can also use the command line package management tool like debian package uh, there is also one more apt so i can use those tools to install the application from the dot dev file but these dot dev dot rpm or other packages file have a issue and the issue is that uh, developer has to create so many files for different distributions for example, if the application needs to be run on a Fedora app distribution, then the developer has to create RPM file and for Debian based distribution dot dev file and for different distribution, they have to create different packages of the same application. There is also the problem of dependencies. For example, if the system is not updated to the latest and uh, the application has started to use a latest version of a dependency then there will be a conflict or dependency and application will not get installed in the system so that problem also there so the work is kind of still tedious and time consuming and it requires a lot of effort so the ubuntu the company behind uh, the snap applications created this snap packaging system and uh, this system can be used on almost all the popular Linux distributions and other distributions like solace and uh, zento as well it can be used so here are the list of the distributions and uh, you can configure it in in your distribution and install application so basically developer has to simply create a snap file and they can use any framework if they are already working on it or they can also specifically build for snap and the application will run on all the linux distributions and it will also run on the cloud and iot devices if the developer has created for those platforms so this basically unified the all platform into a single package file the developer has to manage and uh, this really helps because they can do the job from a single packaging system and from a user's perspective view users just have to go to the software center and search for an application for example this is the typing application they can simply click on install button and uh, they can 
either click on this button this will open the software center or they can use the snap package manager and install the application in the system and uh, snap has all the dependency inside the application so there will not be any conflict related to that so everything is packaged into a, a single file and uh, users can simply install the application in any distribution and they do not do not have to worry about a different kind of package management system they need to know in order to install the snap in the system so this was about why snap was created and what are the problems that are available with the traditional packaging system and ubuntu has streamlined this process now let's talk about how you can install application and uh, how you can manage application in a Linux system. So as I just told you, like you can use the software center. So Ubuntu comes with the software center. So this is the snap. So this is a snap software center that you can install in the system. Ubuntu comes with it by default. So you can simply browse all the available application. You can, if you want to install any application, for example, you want to install Blender, then you can click on it, click on the install button, type in the password and Blender will install in the system. You can manage the install application from here and you can remove the applications and you can also update if any update is available they will be listed here and one more thing that uh, snap provides is that it provides you some channels here and by default uh, the stable one is selected for example this does not have any different channel for this has only the stable channels here but some application comes with different channels like say let's choose this one and see whether this has okay so this has different channels for example this has a stable channel and the candidate channel and add channel so they are like the beta version alpha version and stable version so you can your specified channel and install that particular particular version of the application and this is a graphical software center but you can also use your terminal so if the snap is configured in the system then you can use the snap package manager so the basic commands are these like for finding any application in the in the repo or in the software center basically getting the information about the application installing the application listing all the application and removing the application you can also update the application and these are different commands for a complete guide you can check out the article given in the description that will show you all the commands and how you can use it so let me just show you some of the commands for example you want to install an application let's say you want to install blc so blc is available so let me just go here and search for blc in the store so this is the store and i will give a search to blc so this is the blc you can see and uh, this is the installation command for blc so sudo snap install and blc but you can also use the find command here for example let me clean the terminal using ctrl l and i can type snap find and i can type blc so this will check in the software repo like whether blc is available so here you can see blc is there so i can use sudo snap install to install the application and I can type the application name, provide the password and the application will start to download and it will get installed in the system. So this way you can download and install the application. You can also update the application. Sudo is snap and you can type refresh and you can specify the application name. For example, I have some snap application and to see the available application in the system, I mean the application that are installed in your system, you can type snap to list and this will show all the applications that are there so here's the channels that are available and uh, here for example i have this snap store application and if i want to update it i can do that so i can type sudo snap refresh and i can type snap store i can hit enter and this will check for the update and if update is there then it will install the update for example this is saying no updates are available so it has not installed any update you can also update all the applications at once you can simply execute this command here and this will check for all the applications and if update is there it will install it in the system similarly you can use the info command and remove command so let me just show you what info command is does so if i type snap info and blc so this will give me the complete information about blc application so this is the name the tagline the publisher the website official website some description and some commands that are available and the channels that are available for the application so blc is installed now you can see it is installed i can search in the system blc so this is the blc application and it's a snap application so I can hit continue and I, I can use PLC so this behaves like a regular Linux application.
and if i want to remove the application i can type sudo snap remove and hit blc hit enter so this will basically remove the application from the system so you can see the package manager is very easy to use it has the basic typical commands to manage the application and you can also use the graphical interface here to manage the application and uh, that was it about snap and uh, how to use snap applications in a linux distribution i hope you find this video helpful if you did then don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit that like button and i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux